The Bay of Martyrs was formed some many thousands of years ago as a result of differential erosion. The limestone was weaker and was penetrated by the waves and gradually the beach receded. This is the Bay of Islands which lies on the shipwreck coast, typical of all the features that you would find along this section of the Victorian coastline. Uh, a succession of stacks, arches, blowholes, wave cut platforms. This particular area, as much as it is beautiful, is also treacherous. In the early days of Victorian settlement, um, this area claimed more immigrant ships that came out from Europe, particularly during the gold rush days, than any other section of the Australian coastline. So it was very, very common for these ships to make the 20,000 kilometre journey from Europe only to be smashed to smithereens against these terrible cliffs, uh, which would have been constantly battered by um, waves and storms that would have brewed from the direction of Antarctica. This is London Arch, uh, formerly known as London Bridge. When I was a young boy, I would have been able to walk to the end of that headland, which is currently at one point of the arch, because the gap that you can see between the arch and the existing headland used to be a form arch itself. In other words, this bridge used to contain two arches, but sometime around 30 years ago, one of those arches collapsed. Hence the reason why it is no longer London Bridge, but now London Arch. And it has fallen victim to the incredible power of the waves which blow from the Southern Ocean. In that direction, you will be able to see Antarctica. No land obstacles between here and Antarctica. It's just the pure power of the Southern Ocean. And it creates these amazing features along this sandstone coast.